Hey guys, what's up? I'm Trust from Movie Baseball Blogs, and guys, I got a developing story I want to talk to you about. Okay, so I was looking up, I'm looking on my, I, I have a new website, it's on, It's a WordPress account, it's called MLB Baseline, uh, giving you all the latest news and rumors of what I did, uh, and what's developing in baseball, I'll give you my player of the day, and I did all that. So, I was getting kind of bored, it's 8 o'clock out here in Arizona, and I'm like, I'm done, I'm watching TV, watching some baseball, I'm like, I want to go blog something because it's baseball season. I'm really addictive at blogging when it comes to the baseball season. So I looked up breaking news. I come across this article saying um, by DJ Short from NBC Sports. And I was like, okay, let's check out NBC Sports. And I came across this, this little article saying, uh, where are the New York Yankees cheating on opening day? Uh, being a Yankee fan, everybody has this controversy saying that the Yankees buy their players. And I guess we to your, you guys, they do. Um, being a Yankee fan, I don't think so. With the championships and stuff from that, I think the Yankees win their money and they save it because they want those big time players. Yes, we have most, we have a lot of history, and we just save our money and we want to get the big time players. As this season, we didn't get that big of a player. We got Russell Martin, we got Pedro Feliciano, we got Rafael Soriano. Those are some good guys in our bullpen and at the catching position. Um, on opening day. There was a guy, oh, I'll read you the article, it's, uh, I'll read some of the article and I'll break it up into some pieces. So here is the opening paragraph of the uh, photo, of the uh, article I should say. Um, you may see Keith Olbermann tweet this picture of Brett Weber who, regular who regularly charts velocity and pitch type from behind home plate for the Yankees. Holding up four fingers towards the field during this uh, season opener Thursday against the Tigers. It seemed more wired than anything else at the time, but it turns out MLB rules prohibit team employees from using hand signals to communicate pitch types to, uh, or speeds to the players. Who knew? Um, according to the Associated Press, Brian Cashman confirmed that Joe Garaoglia Jr., the senior vice president of standards and on field operations for MLB, spoke this morning with Yankees vice president and assistant general manager. Gene Afterman about the issue. Cashman feels that he is responsible. Uh, he has a reasonable explanation of for Weber's actions. Uh, this is what he had to say. The scoreboard went down. He was relying after the fact with his fingers to some hitters who wanted it. What the velocity was, pitches to the opposing team's hitter, to the guy on deck. Cashman said there's nothing to hide. We've got nothing to hide. Uh, furthermore, Cashman said that Weber wears headphones during home home games so he can communicate with the scoreboard operator in order to relay, to relay pitch information that can be displayed in center field. Oh, and if, and if you're calling the Yankees cheaters, Cashman has a message for you. It's probably more work talk, it's more, it's probably more work talking about than it's worth. Cashman said the physiotics that obsess about it all day, all day yesterday, I think we'd all add them a favor by keeping them off the street and protecting them from hurting others. I don't know what that means. Uh, for what it's worth. Weber is not behind home plate for today's game against the Tigers, which is today. They'll have some to find someone another way to win. You'll likely rely on $200 million worth of talent that they have on the field. So that is the article. I said I was going to break down in parts, but I wanted to read it to you guys both. Um, this is all coming from NBC Sports writer DJ Short. DJ, thank you for writing this. Um, a lot of comments on this. People are saying that the Yankees were cheating, and everybody who said the Yankees are not. Um, I don't. I don't think the Yankees were. It says right here that the Yankees were cheating, but I highly doubt it. So, would do you guys think that the Yankees were cheating? Let me know in the comment below. DJ Short, thank you so much for the article. The article will be right posted right down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your weekend. And I have to say, being an Ang uh, yeah, uh, Angels fan and a Yankee fan, go Yankees and go Angels. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your weekend.